I'm so frustrated. Beep, beep. What are you doing? Stretching the wrinkles between your eyebrows. I like wrinkles. There is a sense of maturity. I like it when you smile, Asuka. And I like your wrinkles, especially the ones from laughing. Get lost! I'm frustrated enough with work. I don't have time for you today, Yujiro. Sorry, I'll go home now. Uh, I'm the worst. Yujiro didn't do anything wrong, but I was so mean to him. I'm Asuka, an office worker in Tokyo. That was my boyfriend, Yujiro. He's so unbelievably nice that I feel like I don't deserve him. But this is what happened at work today. How many times do I have to tell you you need to apologize to the client? I'm sorry. Uh, may I ask what mistake it was? Here! You made a mistake when placing the order! Huh? But that order was placed by you, Section Chief. Huh? Are you saying it was my fault? No, I, I didn't mean that. What's going on, Honigawa? Boss, can you believe this? Asuka is blaming me for her ordering mistake. Huh? Is that true, Asuka? Uh, no, I'm not saying it was the section chief's fault. But I, I didn't place that order. Huh? You're not that young, but you still don't understand the rules of society, do you? What? Rules? First of all, your boss is always right. Also, Honikawa is much better than you at her job, Asuka. How could she possibly make such a silly mistake? Come to think of it, you also made some stupid mistakes the other day. What mistake? Look at this document. It was full of mistakes. Honikawa was the one who noticed the mistakes and corrected them. No, it was the other way around. I corrected the mistakes on the document Chief Honikawa made. Huh? Now you're even trying to take credit for someone else's work? I stayed up all night revising that document for you, Asuka. I was the one who stayed up all night, okay? Unbelievable. Don't cry, Honikawa. Hey, you! Do you also want to take credit for making your boss cry? Oh, I see. You're jealous of Honikawa, aren't you? What? When the two of you joined the company, everyone thought you were going to be promoted to be the section chief. You must be jealous that Honikawa got the position instead of you. That's why you have this attitude toward her. I saw through you, Asuka. That's why I didn't make you the section chief. <laughs> I knew I had a good eye for people. Oh my god, you're really jealous of me, aren't you? Oh, I'm sorry I became the section chief instead of you. Don't apologize, Honikawa. It's only normal to promote those with skills. All right. Let's don't be bothered by this. Get back to work, people. Report it to me if anything else happens, Honikawa. Yes, boss! <sighs> well, you must be so frustrated, Asuka. You were doing better than me at first, but I quickly surpassed you. <laughs> that must mean I'm better than you. Okay, Asuka. Hurry up and get back to work! Honikawa and I entered the company around the same time. Honikawa couldn't do her job at all in the beginning. Everyone thought she could never be promoted. But suddenly, the company had a new president. Honikawa suddenly got promoted and became the section chief. There's even a rumor that she is the president's mistress. That is why I'm so frustrated. I have to apologize to Yujiro as soon as possible. Huh? Someone just ran the intercom. Oh, it must be Yujiro. Yujiro, I'm sorry about earlier. I shouldn't have taken it out on you. <sighs> What's in your hands? This is for you. Huh? It's my precious cougar picture book. I'm giving it to you. It helped me get through tough times. It's my treasure, so please take good care of it. <laughs> my cougar book! I shouldn't have apologized. A few days later. Hey, Asuka! Good morning, Chief Hanakawa. You know what? I've hated you since you joined the company. Even to this day! What? Still, it makes me a little sad to watch you go today. What are you talking about? You're not leaving the company, are you, Chief Hanakawa? <laughs> of course not! Huh? Well then, enjoy your last day! Okay. I wonder what Honikawa meant. Of course I want to quit my job, but 
Uh, I can't afford to quit. That afternoon. Asuka. Uh, yes, can I help you? Can you come to the president's office for a minute? Oh, okay. The president wants to see me? Oh, I wonder what it's about. Excuse me. You! I had no idea you were such a scum! What? Hornikawa! What you said is true, right? Yes, it's true. I saw Asuka embezzling 50 million yen last night. What? I didn't? Stop lying! Then what? Are you saying Honikawa is lying? But I really didn't do it! I'm speechless! Honikawa even tried to protect you! What? Protect me? Yeah, she asked me not to call the police. What? I know you made a mistake, Asuka. But you're still my colleague. I don't want to see you get arrested. What do you mean? What's really going on, Chief Honikawa? Honestly, I'd like to keep working with you, but... That was a lot of money you took. I'm afraid we have to fire you. How could you betray such a good boss? You're unforgivable. I don't ever want to see your face again. How is this possible? Of course you need to give back the 50 million yen you embezzled. Something's not right. This isn't right. I had no more energy to talk back, so I went home. I still can't believe I'm accused of embezzlement and got fired. I can't take it anymore. How could all this happen? Ding dong, ding dong. The door's not open. Is Asuka not home? No, I can smell the nice scent of a cougar inside. She's in trouble. Ha! Eh, Yujiro. Why are you crying? It's nothing. I see, it's nothing. Then come with me. What? Where? Then come with me. Wait, I'm not in the mood to go out now. Yujiro didn't reply. He just silently held my hand and led me into the car. Then he drove deep into the mountains. I'm a little scared. Okay, we've arrived. What? <gasps> Whoa! It's so beautiful! The star-filled sky. Right? It can blow all your worries away. Yeah. No, you still look worried. All right, if the sky doesn't work... Tell me your problems. I might be able to help. Or maybe not. But I'll do my best, so go ahead and tell me. <laughs> what are you saying? <sighs> okay, I'll tell you. So I told Yujiro everything. That's what happened. Okay. That's it. What do you mean, that's it? I lost my job and have to pay 50 million yen. My life is over. Why don't you get a new job? A new job? It's not that easy to get a new job nowadays. You can be Yujiro's wife right away. What? What did you say? I said you can become my wife right away. I'd love to hire you. What do you think? I appreciate you saying that, but I'm 50 million yen in debt. No, you'll be gainfully employed if you marry me. Having debt shouldn't stop you from getting married. Are you serious? Yeah. This is my first and last prosecutio. Proposal. Prosciutto is unsmoked ham. Messed it up. <laughs> so, what do you say? Will you be my wife? Or... Will you be my wife? It's gotta be one of the two options, right? They're both the same. Are you sure about this? Yeah, a man's word is his pond. Bond. Pond is a small body of water. Okay, I'll marry you. You won't regret it. Now, let's have a welcome party for the new employee. Cheers! Woo! This is good. Oh, you came prepared. Uh, wait. Why are you drinking? I don't have a driver's license. How are we supposed to go home? Don't worry, I brought a tent. Why are you always so prepared? 
I came to look for aliens last time. The tent is still in my car. You! Yujiro is crazy. But I'm going to become his wife now. Somehow, all my worries seem unimportant. I feel I can overcome any hardship when I'm with him. Three days later, I went to a restaurant with Yujiro. Mmm, yum. Yes, it's delicious. But are you sure it's okay to eat at such an expensive place? Yeah, don't worry. I'm still in debt. No, it has to be here. Oh? No, I'm gonna go to the washroom. Boss! Are we going to a hotel after this? Yes, Honikawa? <laughs> You're so honest, boss. Hey, boss. Do you love me more than your wife? What? Huh? Uh, Asuka, what are you doing here? The president and Chief Honekawa are holding hands! So the rumors were true. Um, I'm eating here. Did you forget that you still owe our company 50 million yen? Of course I didn't forget. Yujiro told me to transfer the money as soon as I could. E even though it was just a minuscule amount compared to the 50 million yen debt. Then how can you afford to come to a fancy restaurant like this? Why don't you pay the company back if you have money? Are you crazy? No, I... Why are you two... Huh, well, since you're already fired, I don't mind telling you. I'm the boss's mistress! Yeah, that's right! But that doesn't mean I take her side at work! Oh, come on. I know you do. By the way, uh, who are you eating with? Oh, I'm... Asuka! Marry me! Huh? Ha! 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 Let me take care of you! Whew, nailed it. Huh? It's a prologue. I have to do it over because I said Prescudio last time. Um, you mean proposal? Oh, shoot. I need another do-over. Thanks anyway, ladies. Who are they? Hmm? They're the Flash Mob. No, they're the Cougar Mob. They were featured in the Cougar book, remember? I don't want to know. Who the heck is that? Oh, what a freak. He's my husband. <laughs> So low marrying a weirdo like that. <laughs> Isn't it hilarious, boss? Uh, boss? Uh, uh, you are. Huh? You know him? Hi. You're Masako's husband, right? What? Do you know him? Yes, he's Masako's husband, Vice President of the National Association of Cougars. What the heck is that? The introduction is on the first page of the Cougar picture book. Why would I read that? The National Association of Cougars is an association that produces picture books of cougars. And I'm the president, of course. I co-financed it with Masako. It's a co-production, driven by Masako's desire to capture the ripest moment of cougars and my love for cougars. What? Please don't tell Masako about this. That's impossible. Don't say that. I'll pay you however much you want. But Masako's right behind you. Hello, you prick. Ah, Masako! What? Is she your wife? Masako organized a cougar mob. She was watching from another room. So she could send us instructions through the walkie-talkie. By the way, there was a camera on Asuka's chair. Masako could hear everything we said. No! Why are you so scared, boss? So what if she found out about the affair? No. No! That's very bad! My wife is a majority shareholder of our company! What? She's gonna fire me! I'm sorry, Masako! Please! Please forgive me! How can I forgive you? 
I don't think the shareholders will agree to fire you for personal reasons. So I'll think about what to do with you later. No! Uh, it's fine as long as you can keep your position as company president. He won't. Eek! You guys committed fraud. Fraud? What are you talking about? You lied about Asuka embezzling 50 million yen, didn't you? What are you talking about? That was true! Yeah! No, Asuka would never do that. How do you know? Because she's the cougar of my choosing. I'm not old enough to be a cougar yet. Anyways, I believe Asuka. So I decided to ask the police to investigate. Huh? The police? Yes, if there was really embezzlement, we have to get the police involved. Uh, uh, wait! Can we not go to the police? Why not? Uh, Maybe she didn't really do it. Huh? So, you're also involved. Oh no. Do you know why Asuka transferred the money? What? Isn't it to pay back the money? Because it's a more serious crime if you actually took the money. What? It's obvious that you two tried to scam Asuka. So I told Asuka to send you the money so the attempt becomes a fact. An attempt is too light of a crime. Yujiro is completely different from usual. Well, committing fraud will be a good enough reason for me to fire you. What? Are we gonna get arrested for fraud? Yes. You can't be serious! You hurt the person I love. This is still too lenient. I wish I could punish you more. No! <laughs> it was just an affair. How could it turn into something so serious? Just an affair? Don't be ridiculous. You think betraying the one who loves you is small? Cheating should be a capital crime. You need to be punished for betrayal. Uh... Later, the president and Chief Onikawa were arrested for fraud. They were both fired from their positions. They also have to pay hefty compensation to Masako. The two were planning to buy a condo with the money they received from me. Uh, isn't it unbelievable? Now they're struggling to get by because of the compensation. On top of that, they've made enemies with aunties all over the country. It's become more and more difficult for them to live in Japan. That's definitely the work of the National Association of Cougars in Japan. Uh, help, Asuka. This is so unbearable. This is what I call fever of wisdom. You were a little unusual that day, you know? But thank you, Yujiro. What for? For helping me. I don't understand. Isn't it normal to help the people you love? <laughs> yes, it is. If you're in trouble, I'll help you too. Huh? What's that under your pillow? Oh. The cougar book. This is different. Just because I try to meet a cougar in my dream doesn't mean I'm cheating on you. I don't want to talk to you. Hey, wait a minute! Asuka! Unbelievable! After that, to my surprise, I became the company's president. It was supposed to be Yuchiro, but he was busy with the activities of the National Association of Cougars. So they made me the president. Huh, I'm so anxious. Luckily, Masako's going to help me. I'll also make Yuchiro help me, so I should be able to make it work. <sighs> Thanks to Yuchiro, I'm so excited about my life now. I'm looking forward to my life as Asuka Ugumori.